Hi, I'm Taylor with BTOD.com. Today we're going to unbox and give you our first impressions of the Hayworth Zodi chair. Shopping for office chairs? BTOD TV is your number one resource for everything office chairs. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. This is how your chair will arrive if you order directly from Hayworth or from an authorized dealer. It does weigh approximately 55 pounds, but it does come with helpful handles on the side for easy lifting, but you may need someone to help you lift it. Let's get into the unboxing. Nice. I like the I like the buttons as opposed to the long paddles on a chair. And just gonna get right after it here. I really like the seat. It's a little bit firm, but definitely definitely comfortable. It's a bit boxier looking than the firm. It is an older model, so I guess that makes sense. It's a pretty good looking chair overall. Um, uh, <coughs> sitting in it immediately, a um, little tilt forward action. The recline is nice and smooth. I do like that. And they can adjust the tension. So the recline is pretty smooth overall. It actually feels pretty nice. I actually, like right away, I noticed the just this like. Uh, smooth recline, twist the knob, it really doesn't take much to go from the tightest to the loosest setting, I would say, um, which is kind of a minor detail, but it's nice when you don't have to like crank on something for a while. Like I'm a big fan of the, Hay or the, sorry, the Herman Miller chairs and how their recline feels, and this is like a nice you're not feeling like you're just pushing back and stopping. It's like you can kind of move a little. You know, I think this is one of those seat sliders you gotta do while standing. In comparison to the firm, the knob is a little stiffer. Um, it's not as smooth to move. It takes a little bit of practice, it seems like, to uh, kind of learn how to use that. Yeah, it's definitely different. I had the advantage, again, of watching other people figure out how this works. It's a little different than most chairs, but I think once you get used to it, that's not a bad adjustment for seat depth. Um, seat height goes fairly low. I'm about 5'8", um, so it definitely fits me properly, I would say. The seat is definitely comfortable. I think it's one of those where it's not too thick and it's not too thin. Like it'll definitely give you support and the foam seems of good quality. Like I'm not gonna bottom out. Good, firm, comfortable seat. The seat honestly is pretty comfortable. Probably more on the firmer side, but it has a little bit of give. It doesn't feel like it'll bottom out very easily. Seat's pretty nice. I've been sitting in the Herman Miller cell or cella, however you want to pronounce it. It's kind of similar where it's, it gets pretty wide, kind of lets you kind of move around, you know, sit in different positions, you know, which I do sometimes, so. I'm sure it'll be nice because the seat does seem to be wide. 
and large, and it does fit me, and I am 5'2", and it does go low enough for me, but it is all the way at the bottom for the seat height. Oh wow, a little forward tilt. Good flexibility in the back as well on that. Good coverage, I think, on the back too for the shoulders. Back wrist. Back wrist is about average. Can't really feel the lumbar, but it's nice overall chair. The back, um, like I said, the um, mesh is loose. Almost comparable to like the Cosm. Um, and that chair is like a hammock, we call it in the office, but. I want to sit upright, and it feels like to make my back become in full contact with the backrest, I'm almost reclining. So it fits me nice. I mean, I'm about 6'2". Feels pretty good. My shirt kind of catches on that mesh. You know, I don't love that feeling. Some meshes do that, some don't, like an Aeron chair you pretty much just slip across. You wouldn't really get that catching on there. Good support, I would say, in the back for the lumbar, but not the mesh. Nice tension on that. It's... Tension on the back as well is nice. Good, comfortable chair. And I think the lumbar support is really supportive on there as well, especially with that tension on both sides. Lumbar, you can pick a side, then you can tighten up and kind of individually decide how much support you're getting in the lumbar. So as you can see, kind of here. If you have like one side you'd rather have more support on, you can adjust it to fit that, which is a pretty cool feature. Yeah, when you crank that up, you can feel it. It's not like super strong. It's not like a, a, a leap lumbar or it's not a Aeron posture fit SL or whatever it's not as strong as that. Pretty good range. It's a little noisy so once you get it in a spot I probably wouldn't move it anyway so that's not the biggest deal. You try going on one side and you can feel the different sides having more pressure which is unique and I, I like that. Maybe if you had some back pain or some stress on one side of your back you might want to just go a little extra pressure or something. The arms are easy to adjust, which is nice. And the arm pads are actually, they feel hard, but they do have some give to them. But I think I like them. They feel, they feel comfortable. Nice adjustments on the arms as well. Not too loose, which is always a good thing. Definitely comfortable. I like the arm caps, very soft and very adjustable. Good height adjustment. You can go pretty high and pretty low. Well. Um, the pads are fairly soft. I think the ferns are a little bit softer. You get pivot adjustment, height. I don't think there's width adjustment on here, but um, you do get the arm pads do get width adjustment, so move pretty smoothly and stay in place when you kind of hit the landing spot that you want them to sit at. For the price range, I would choose the fern. Looks wise, I to me this doesn't look like a flagship high-end office chair, just and again, it is a older, a little bit older now, so that's probably why I think the fern definitely wins when it comes to looks. It doesn't even compare to the lead, but in my opinion, just the build quality and possibly, you know, overall support, it, it doesn't feel very supportive in the back, so. It's a nice chair, though. But this is honestly a pretty solid chair. Um, I'm comfortable, and I would probably sit in this and be good in it. Potentially recommend this chair, but it would not be my top pick. But I can see a lot of people really liking this. I'd be happy with this chair. And that was the unboxing and our first impressions of the Hayworth Zodi chair. 
If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Also, follow us on social media so you don't miss out on giveaways and behind the scenes content. Thanks for watching.